In this video, we're going to continue working with applications of systems. And again, with every application problem, it's important our very first step is to define the variables so we know what the variable represents when we get to our final answer. In these problems, we're going to already know the interest rates, so our first equation is actually going to be for the investment. How much money gets put away? The bank word for that is the principal. And then we will make another equation for the interest earned on the investment. And as usual, because interest rates are usually given in percentages, we must convert the percentages to a decimal. Very important, very important. Move the decimal twice. So if we have a woman who invests $46,000 in two accounts, the first one's 13 percent, the second one's 12 percent, at the end of a year, she's got $586. What's in the account? We're investing in two different accounts. Those are our variables. Um, Let's say the lower in the lower interest rate and the higher interest rate is kind of what we've done before. So the lower interest rate is going to be the thir is the 12 percent, sorry. 12 percent is lower than 13. And the higher is the 13 percent. So it's the amount. Let me do it this way. The amount at 12 percent and the amount at 13 percent. So if we know the total investment is $4,600, we need to combine the amounts together to get that. So the lower amount, the lower rate plus the higher rate amounts is going to give us the total of $4,600. We're talking about the lower interest rate with L and H, not the lower amount. Then, we need another equation that shows that she's going to earn $586 in interest. Well, the lower one earns 0.12 percent in interest, plus the higher one earns 0.13 percent in interest, or 0.13, changing the percent to a decimal, sorry is $586. Notice we're completely set up to solve by elimination or addition. We want to get opposites in front of one of the variables. Let's just pick on the L, the, one, the lower interest rate. We're going to multiply that by negative 0.12 on both sides. That gives us negative 0.12 L minus 0.12 H equals 4,600 times 0 0.12 is 552, negative. And we're adding to that the second equation, 0.12L plus 0.13H equals 586. So the L's are gone, and we have 0.01H is equal to 34. Finally, to get the 34 alone, we divide both sides by 0.01. And H, the amount that's at the higher interest rate, is 3,400. We have $3,400 at the lower interest rate of 12 percent. Now we just need to find the higher, in the amount that's invested at the higher interest rate. We can go to either equation. The first one looks much simpler. L plus H, L plus the 3,400 is equal to the 4,600. Subtract 3,400 from both sides, and we have our L alone. The amount that's invested in the lower interest rate is 1,200. And L, the amount at the lower interest rate, $1,200, is at Whoops, L is the lower interest rate. $1,200 is at 12 percent. $3,400 is at 13 percent, the higher interest rate, because we said H is the amount at 13 percent. So $3,400 at 13 percent, $1,200 at 12 percent. Let's try another example. 
In this next example, a bank's gonna make a loan to two different companies. We wanna find the amount of loaned at each rate. So again, let's call L the amount at the lower interest rate. What's the lower interest rate in this problem? 4%. H is the amount at the higher interest rate of 13%. We're going to loan out a total of $4,900 to both companies. That's a total of the amounts combined. So we take the lower amount and we combine it with the higher amount. It's going to give us the total amount that was loaned out, the $4,900. We're also told the amount of interest that's occurred of $421. So the lower rate, we said the lower rate was 4%, so 0.04, changing it to a decimal, times the lower amount, plus the amount at the higher rate, 13%, percent 13 times H, is equal to the interest earned by the bank of $421. Again, we're completely set up to solve by elimination. We can multiply the first equation by negative 0.04. That'll get rid of the L's, giving us negative 0.04L minus 0.04H equals 4,900 times 0.04 is negative 196. The other equation, 0.04L plus 0.13H equals 421. And when we add together, the L's are gone, and we get 0.09H is equal to 225. Finally, to get the H alone, to find out how much was invested at the higher interest rate, we'll divide by 0.09, and H is equal to $2,500. $2,500 was invested at the higher interest rate. The higher interest rate is 13%. Again, making sure H, the higher interest rate, 13 percent. To find out how much is at the lower interest rate, we just go back to one of the original equations. The first one's probably the easiest to work with. The lower amount, the part at the lower rate, plus the part at the higher rate, which is 2,500, should equal the total $4,900 invested. So we subtract the 2,500 from both sides, and the amount at the lower rate is $2,400. There's $2,400 at the lower interest rate of 4%. Again, it's very important we clearly identify our variables. So when we get H equals 25, we know which percent that 2,500 is at. It's at the higher interest rate of 13% because that's what we defined H as. If we clearly define our variables, we can quickly solve these interest rate problems.